guys, today we're doing a spoiler install on a 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan. Uh, to begin the install, we're going to start by prepping the surface uh, in order to have the tape adhere properly. And then after we clean the surface, we're going to go over to the wing, the spoiler itself, and we're going to clean off all this tape. The old hey guys, we have to pause the video just to appreciate the paint job we did on this spoiler. This is cleaner than most people's house mirrors. But um, old tape residue that's on it and then we're going to be laying brand new 3m double-sided molding tape on and then placing the wing on and then holding it in place for x amount of hours. if the video helps you out please like comment and subscribe to the channel so we're going to start by cleaning off all of this um, it's the old tape that was on it it's really not that bad just get it rolling I guess and you can kind of push it off all the remaining stuff that's left you can take off with boot on If this is a fresh wing with no glue, it wouldn't take that long. Or no tape residue to remove. So we got off as much of the sticky stuff as we could, so now we're going to be using glue gun, spray some on a little paper towel, and I usually just do a quick wipe down, kind of pat it on heavier areas. Sitting here for a little bit, you can kind of start scrubbing it off. Alright, so after we use the goo gone, it leaves a little bit of greasy residue, so we're going to use some Dawn dish soap and water, spray it on a rag kind of wipe it down, get kind of all the, the grease off. Okay, so now we're using surface prep cleaner. Sit on there for a few seconds. Is that again? Let it sit on there for a few seconds. Trying to make sure we have the best surface for the double-sided sticky tape to, to stay on. So if it's not clean, it's not going to stay on. It may not stay on as well. What's up, man? Surface is clean. We're gonna move on to the clean. We're gonna use soap and water, specifically Dawn dip soap. Uh, we're gonna wipe down the top surface first as well as down here. Alright, so now we're going to be installing the spoiler on here. First, uh, I'd like to at least put it up there to kind of like mock test fit it. So obviously this is a OEM Volkswagen piece, so everything lines up pretty much perfectly. 
So that's the way it's essentially going to sit. Good on this corner. Good on that corner. So by doing this as well, I can see where all the coverage areas are for when we retape it. So I'm going to be taping all on the inside of this surface, all on the inside of this surface, and on both corners. So as you can see, I'll be putting tape here, all along here, all along the inside. Okay, so now we're going to be laying the tape along these surfaces. These surfaces were prepped and cleaned before we started, so here we go. it out making sure it sticks on the spoiler surface we have no air bubbles underneath it kind of bunched up right here so I didn't like how that laid out it's a lot of tape Another test fitting? Yeah. Make sure we don't have any weird gaps. What's next? So now we peel off all this black tape. Alright, so as you can see, we, we now have the spoiler installed. Um, I put some tape on here, kind of pushed the spoiler up, taped around the edges to pull it up and just kind of keep it set in place for the next 24 hours or so. Ideally, I'd like to have it with the trunk open and gravity kind of setting down, uh, kind of like this. Ooh, nothing to see here, EPA. Uh, but yeah, see you have just basically sits like that and gravity doing its work. But since he's gonna have to be driving this car, we're gonna have it closed. We advise him to leave it taped up for the next 24 hours or so and let it see. So like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video, um, if you found it helpful. If you have any comments or any questions, put them down in the comment section below and have a great day.